Hey everybody, this is Joe back with another episode of the Waterbox 130.4. Um, this is a video that I'm not looking forward to shooting um, just because I know it's going to be up for debate and you know people are going to say that's not the right way or you're doing it wrong. Um, so what I am doing is uh, treating a yellow tang that I believe has flukes. I know in my previous videos, um, I said that I would never get a tang, but I ended up getting one and I was going to surprise you all um, with that. But, um, you know, I got this tang probably three weeks ago and uh, put it in the quarantine tank and I, I treated it with some Coopermine and some Prazzy Pro um, before I, put them in my display tank and you know this video is going to kind of be one of those things that you know even though you treat a fish in a quarantine tank doesn't necessarily mean that it's never going to get anything so you know that's why I, I say that this video is probably going to be debated and I'm gonna get some flack but uh, you know I feel like I had no choice but to do this because I tried to catch him last night right after I shot my media cup video um, when I noticed that, you know, he wasn't acting right. You know, he's been in the display for about a week now. Um, he's always swimming around, picking up the rock work, eating the seaweed that I have out for him. Um, you know, he eats pellets and brine shrimp and all that stuff. So I just knew something wasn't right. So when I inspected him, um, he was just sitting in the bottom right hand corner, not moving. Um, he was just staying in one spot and his gills were just flapping at like 90 miles an hour. So I knew something was wrong. Um, so this, this is the product I'm using and uh, hopefully you can find it helpful. You know, uh, one, one more thing before I flip this around, um, just so we're clear, I, I tried to be as detailed as possible and, and tell you exactly what I do and how I do it. But uh, anytime I get a, a new fish from the fish store, I put it into my quarantine tank and I treat it for roughly 14 days. Um, I treat it with Prazzy Pro for, you know, about three days. <clears throat> and then I'll run some carbon and then I'll treat it with Coopermine for, for the rest or the remaining of the days. Um, so, you know, I wanted to tell you that because <clears throat> I know it's not a true quarantine. Um, usually, you know, some people treat their fish for, you know, 30 some days, um, some longer, but you know, that's how I do it. And I've had success in the past doing it that way. Um, and maybe it just wasn't long enough. Maybe my fish doesn't even have anything and it was just spooked. So, you know, it's just better to be safe than sorry. All right, everybody. So this was the product that was recommended to me. It is made right here in the great state of Maryland where I live and it's called Ruby Reef Kick Ick and Rally. Um, it claims that it is reef safe, copper free and non-toxic and this product can be used in unison together. So even though I know or even though I think I don't have ick, I'm still treating for it and you know, I know that I'm probably going to get a lot of flack from posting this because I know there's people that are like, well, the only reason or the only way you can get rid of ick is by using copper or the only way you can get rid of marine velvet is using copper. Well, I'm be the first to say it. And I'm not afraid to say it. You guys realize that these fish that we're getting now are coming resistant to all that stuff. So... You know, to me, whatever product works, works. So if copper works for you, great. It's worked for me in the past. I'll continue to use it for my quarantine setup. 
um, when I get new fish, but you know, I don't know, you know, I, I don't want to rant about, you know, what works and what doesn't, because in reality, no matter if you put a fish in a quarantine tank and you treat it for 800 days, you can still put it in your display tank. It can still stress out and it can still get stuff. So, you know, this is what I have to use right now because I do not have the time to wait around and try to catch a tang while it's suffering from a, di a disease that I don't even know what it is, you know? So, you know, I'm just assuming it's flukes. And, you know, the cool thing about this product is it treats ick and marine velvet and flukes and fin rot bacterial infections and clownfish disease. And, you know, one thing that I really, really like about this product, even though I, this is only my second day, is that I can add this to my display tank without tearing out all my rock work that I spent hours on to try to snatch a fish. Um, so this is treating all my fish at once in it's saving me time from trying to catch them. And like I said, this is my second dose that I have or that I've given my tank. And, uh, you know, my tank is actually eating right now. Um, it's picking at its seaweed and the rock work. And, you know, yesterday after watching him for like an hour or two, he wasn't moving. He wasn't eating. Um, he was just breathing really fast. I can tell that his gills right now are slowed down and it's swimming around my tank. So I'm hoping that this product is working um, and that maybe it was just one of those fluke things that my tank was maybe spooked or something. I don't know. But, you know, I watched the tank for a couple of hours and it just was not acting right from when I first got them. I mean, I just wanted to be safe than sorry. So, you know, this is what I'm using. I can tell you that rally stuff right there, the orange stuff, looks like you're dumping antifreeze in your tank. Um, the kick ick, which is the clear stuff, I'm just adding as a precaution and um, hopefully it works. I'm going to try to document this, but you know, the rally you only use for three days. So I stopped my last dose will be tomorrow. And then the kick ick you basically use, um, I wanna say it's like every three or four days for two weeks and then you just stop using that. So I'll just let you know uh, what I see. You know, I know my corals are not as happy as they usually are. They're not fully extended. Um, so I'll let you know if any of my corals die. Um, I don't think they will. Um, this guy that I've been talk or that I talked to about this product said that he's been using this since 1998, and uh, he said he's not had anything die but a xenia when he used it. And I don't have any xenia in my tank, so you know I'm just going to uh, keep using this um, and follow the directions. Um, I know you do have to turn off your UV sterilizer, which I don't have. Um, I did turn off my protein skimmer and I did remove my carbon. Um, I actually just sh shut the reactor off. And um, it says that you can actually continue to use like phosphate removers. So I did leave my FosGuard in there. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to, to show you. And if you're ever caught in a situation like I am, um, this is probably going to be something that is going to my, be my go-to if I ever do see an issue um, because it is super versatile and um, only time is going to tell. But if it works, I see no reason why, why this product uh, won't be good. So please like and subscribe and um, I'll let you know how everything goes. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. So this is what the tank looks like after the rally.